I think at RGS the most um, important thing and the thing that we're all really proud of is the close family community that we've established here. It's quite a small school but everyone knows each other and everyone relies on each other for certain things and I think the relationships that we form here during sixth form and during the main school are really important and um, last with us for a very long time. I would definitely recommend RGS sixth form to anyone interested. I think it's a place where you learn to grow as a person and um, adjust into adulthood and learn how to cope independently and work on your organisation before entering higher education. And I think all the facilities that we have here allow us to do that really well. Here at RGS, there are so many extracurricular activities available. Um, there's music, sports, house drama, and the list goes on. Um, I personally am part of the music community here at RGS and um, enjoy being part of the chamber orchestra. There's something to everybody's taste and don't worry about not being able to find something because there's always something here. There's such a wide variety and array of activities and it's a great way of meeting new people and making new friends. Um, the highlight of the academic year is definitely Charity Week and it's something where each year we choose a charity to fundraise towards to and Charity Week becomes the bulk of our fundraising. It's a week of uh, many activities and just a bit of fun and a little bit of a break from lessons and it's always before half term in October. Um, it's just a great way to show our community the support that the school can um, generate for um, worldwide charities. Yeah. The staff are wonderful here at RGS and they can be incredibly supportive, especially with the transition and the jump from GCSE to A-level. They really do facilitate our knowledge and um, work to our needs to make sure that we can do the best that we can and achieve the best that we can. Um, not just at academically, but Being at RGS, the skills that I've honed mostly are organisation and independence, especially going into the sixth form independent learning becomes incredibly more important and it's up to you how you shape your learning and I think that this really helps us with being prepared for the world of work in the future and stepping into um, university if that's what people choose. Oh. Students do have a very strong voice here at RGS and they have they can play a big role in this through school council um, which is led by the head boy and head girl and each year a new cohort is picked and we do many things to benefit the school. Um, recently we opened a second-hand uniform shop to help parents out with the costs of uniform and it's been very helpful and um, I think it's been a hit. <laughs> um, going into the sixth form there are many leadership opportunities available for you. Um, even in the lower six, just helping the upper six prefects out with duties often arises. And when you transition into the upper six, there's a team of school officers that you can be a part of and you can apply to be. So you have the head boy, head girl and a team of about 13 deputy officers um, for all sorts, such as enrichment, equalities and environment, just for example, and the heads and heads of um, boarding. Um, and these leadership opportunities are incredible for your own self-growth and development. Other examples can be the pastoral and school prefects that help out with the younger year groups and at, are on duty during break and lunch. And within the sixth form itself, the student-led societies that range from healthcare to um, um, economics and business. And there's a wide range to fit everyone's interest and the student-led part of it really makes a difference. I think here at the sixth form we're really well prepared for life after RGS. We're well informed of the different career paths and routes that we can take into higher education or information about gap years as well. And um, I think the lower sixth work experience placement really helps us with that. The opportunity to take a week out of school to um, explore a career sector on our own can be really helpful to guiding us to make that final decision. So we have um, the opportunity to undertake an extended project qualification or also known as an EPQ and this is normally done alongside the plus one programme that we have here in the sixth form but anyone who's taking four or three A levels can do this and it gives us the opportunity to go through wider reading and research to aid our university applications. 
Um, me personally, I'm, I'm interested in doing medicine at university and so my extended project was on the ageing population and medical ethics in that sense. And I think this really has prepared me for interview questions and just um, ethical questions that I might face in interview time. Uh, the Plus Bron programme runs along for students who do 3A levels and it's an extra sort of lesson where we do volunteering and um, build up our CV during year 12. Um, there's loads of volunteering opportunities available in school and out of school. For example, in school there's the SEN support help and the peer mentoring that you can do with subject specific tutoring for younger year groups, as well as outside school volunteering, such as the charity shops in Ripon and just connecting with our community. We have non-academic enrichment as well as academic enrichment. And in non-academic, it's where we find time, a double free at the end of, on a Wednesday afternoon, where we just spend the end of the day just doing something that we all enjoy. And all of these activities can range from board games to badminton or rock climbing on the climbing wall in the sports hall. And I think that this is a really nice way for us just to de-stress and take a step back from A-levels from time to time. Um, I think the most important lesson that I've learned here is... Um, to live and make choices without having any regrets and taking that leap sometimes for these amazing opportunities that come to you. Um, there's a lot of opportunities that the school offers you and just taking that leap and that extra step to take it and jump and go for it is really important. Um, I'd say when picking your sixth form to make sure that it's a place where it facilitates your learning and is suited to you the way they teach and the people there and making sure that um, the subjects that you're taking are ones that you really do enjoy and have an interest for into higher education because the step up can be quite more in depth at A level and so when you pick a subject that really um, excites you or you're interested in it can make it so much easier to learn. I think that the community here is incredibly diverse and full of people that have different interests in everything and so there's always someone to find to talk to. I think it's very welcoming and it can be nice to know that there are people surrounded, surrounding you that have the same interests, the same goals and want to work equally as hard to achieve the same outcomes.